Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, a few weeks ago, I introduced you to this new build by Beta FPV. It's called the HX115, and I have the HD version of it. Now, when I made that previous video, you couldn't actually buy this drone, but you can now, and so I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about it. My previous video focused on the camera. Uh, it's unique in that the DVR board is shaped like a Whoop flight controller, uh, so you can check out that video if you're interested. Today, I'm going to focus on the rest of the quad, the durability, and how the thing flies. And how it flies is really nice. I've been having a lot of fun with this over the summer. If you're looking for a really fast three inch ripper for outside, uh, and you want one that's already built for you, then this is one you might want to consider. Here you can see my build up close, but this one is an early prototype. If you bought this today, yours would look a little bit different. For one thing, it would have a blue canopy and blue props, but there are some functional differences as well, and I'll go through that in just a minute. Now, I knew this build would have awesome flight performance on 3S as soon as I saw it, and that's because of this combination of props and motors. This is the HQ 3x3x3 prop and the Beta FPV 1105 5000 kV motor. I really like this motor prop combo, and if you've been watching this channel, then you've seen it before. Uh, when I was testing the Speed Racer Twig, this was the combo that I liked the best. Uh, it's quiet, it's powerful, um, and it has great control in those corners. Now, Beta FPV saw how well this performed, and they decided to do the same thing for their new build, and so that's what you have here, um, and that is for 3S. For 4S, they do recommend that you use the two-blade props, and I think they include some of those in the final package. All right, let's jump straight into some flight footage. Uh, last time I showed nothing but freestyle, so this time I thought I'd mix it up and start with some racing. I think it'd be really fun to race three inch micros, especially on a track designed for it. Uh, this track is really large because it's designed for five inch racing drones, but you can see I'm still getting around okay, and this is on 3S. This is flying with the stock tune, and you can see it flies really smoothly. Um, there's only a tiny bit of oscillation in the hard turns. Uh, nothing that bothered me, but you could tune that out probably if you spent the time to do it. This is recording at 1080p, 60 frames per second, and you can judge the quality for yourself. I think it looks pretty nice, and I also want to point out there's not a lot of jello in this video. Uh, there's a tiny bit if you look for it, but it's not bad as long as the props are in good condition. Here you can see a sample of the FPV video. It's not as wide, it's not as sharp, and there is a little bit of latency. Um, so unfortunately, you do have to compromise a little bit on FPV quality in order to get that beautiful HD footage. Um, if you're looking for just the best flying experience, I think it's safe to say that the non-HD version is gonna give you that, uh, but it is really cool to have that HD footage, so that's something you'll have to consider. I'll show you more freestyle footage at the end of this video, but first let's take a closer look at those components. There are a lot of different batteries you could use with a build like this. I actually really like these 45C 300 milliamp hour 3S batteries by Beta FPV. It's the boxy shaped one that's the good one, and I recommend this. Uh, if you want lightweight freestyle, this is going to be a great battery, and I get two and a half to three minutes of really hard flying with one of these and uh, three to four minutes on a 450, uh, you know, depending on how I fly. The race footage you saw was actually with this 653S. I would not recommend a battery this heavy for freestyle, but if you're hauling around a racetrack, it's nice to have some extra battery power behind you. Um, and I was able to race like that on almost full throttle for three and a half minutes on a battery like this. You could also fly on 4S, although I don't really recommend it. It's already super fast on 3S, and I think you'll find that it's quieter and smoother on 3S. But 4S can work, uh, and they do recommend using the two-blade prop for that. I actually flew it with a three-blade prop on 4S one time uh, just because I wanted a long flight time with a large battery, and that's when I was out following that plane. Uh, some of you saw that in my previous video. That flight was six and a half minutes long of gentle cruising. My prototype weighs 75.7 grams. According to Beta FPV, the final product weighs 74.3, so a little bit lighter. The frame is 115 millimeters diagonally and 3 millimeters thick, uh, and that is a really sturdy frame. I'd be surprised if people break this frame. Uh, it's shaped like an X, and you can see my XM Plus receiver right here under the battery compartment with this strap. Uh, my receiver antennas have kind of weird placement. I've seen on the official one, they come off of the front arms like this. If you look inside, you can see the DVR board mounted right above a 12 amp all-in-one flight controller. 
Now the final product has their toothpick style flight controller where the motor plugs come out to the side and the heat shrink you see here is around a capacitor on the XT30 connector and that's to smooth out your video and protect the electronics from electrical spikes. Now the only real problems I had when I was testing this had to do with durability and I gave Beta FPV my feedback on that and I was quite happy to see they actually made several different changes based on my feedback. One of the problems that I had was uh, these metal screws going into nylon standoffs. A hard hit to the canopy would strip those screws right out of the nylon. And so my suggestion was to use a long screw all the way through with a nut on the bottom. So it's metal into metal and then to use an aluminum standoff on the side. And so they've made that change and I think it's going to be a lot stronger on the canopy. Another thing I pointed out was that mine was only anchored on two sides. So if the screws came loose, the canopy could teeter totter this way. You can see I added some foam in here to help prevent that, but in the final version they extended this standoff and now the canopy is connected in three points, which is going to be even stronger still. If you look in the back, you may notice that my FPV antenna is pinned down with this little twist tie. Originally it came straight out the back and it would constantly get sucked down into the props. It was a major problem and I pointed that out. The solution for that was to add a little hole uh, on the top here so the antenna can stick up instead of sticking out. Finally, I had a problem with the micro SD card popping out in a crash, and so they added a little clip to help hold that in. It's really great to see a company like Beta FPV actively seeking out pilot feedback and then using that information to improve the product. Uh, that's what's happened here, and I hope you'll find that the final product is a lot more durable because of it. Well, I hope that gave you some good info on the HX115. Again, my build is just a prototype, but I have had this a lot longer than most people. So if you've got questions, I'd be happy to talk about it down in the comments below. And if you think this is something you might want to purchase, then it'd be cool if you could use my links there in the video description. And I'll include links for the props and batteries as well in case you need that. Um, I think it turned out pretty nice, especially with all of the improvements that they made based on my feedback. I hope that makes it more durable for you. Uh, if you're looking for a fast, three inch bind and fly, then I think this is a pretty nice one to consider. If you're looking to build one from a kit, then you've got tons of great options out there, uh, including the Speed Racer Twig, which I've already reviewed, and the Primo three inch, which I'll be building up soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, now I'm going to leave you with some flight footage. It's going to be a complete flight because I know sometimes you guys like to see that and I'm pretty sure it's with one of these little uh, 300 milliamp hour 3S batteries, uh, some outdoor freestyle. So enjoy, happy flying. Yeah.